Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the sweet hour of prayer. I wanted to actually direct your attention uh, to some scriptures about Elijah coming back. I know there's a lot of confusion uh, on the part of the body of Christ, whether or not Elijah is still coming back before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So before we go into that, though, I want to go ahead and read the scriptures where it says that Elijah will be coming back. And then I'll expound on what Jesus said about Elijah and we'll continue from there. Malachi 4 and 5 states, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. You remember when Jesus was talking about it, remember how that John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah, but he was not that Elijah. You want proof? Watch this. Luke 1 and 17, and he shall go before him, talking about the Lord, in the spirit and power of Elias. Elias is Elijah. Okay, To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Uh, you can actually look that up in Isaiah. Now, what I wanted to expound on is this, that yes, John the Baptist came in the spirit and power of Elijah, but that does not completely fulfill Malachi 4 and 5. Remember when Jesus said, you know, and if you will, you know, this was, uh, Elias was John the Baptist, but he was talking about he came in the spirit and power of Elijah. He was not that Elijah. Elijah still needs to come. There's another reason why Elijah still needs to come. It does say in the end of Malachi 4 and 5, coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. You know, when Jesus came the first time, he came as a lamb and it was not a dreadful day, even though it was a great day. Okay. It was not a dreadful day. When he comes back the second time with his saints, it will be a dreadful day for who? For the sinners that are on the planet, for the Antichrist, for uh, those that said no to the Lord. And so we just want to make sure that we add in the Re Re Revelation 11, 5, and 6. We wanted to expound on this and just let you know that one of the two prophets has to be Elijah. Watch this. And if any man will hurt them, Fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Who is the prophet that was able to call down fire out of heaven to devour, what was it, 101 soldiers? Who was it? Okay. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. Who else had uh, a ministry in which the heavens were shut up? They were like brass during their ministry. And then also when the people repented, rain was given. Okay. Who else did that? All right. And to smite the earth, excuse me, and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So let's go ahead and just give you another verse of scripture because it does matter. We'll go ahead and look that up for you. All right. I want you to see the scriptures that I'm using as well. So 2 Kings 1 and 12, and Elijah answered and said unto them, if I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50. Yes, Elijah was and is a man of God. And so we just want you to look at these scriptures, pray about them. Let me know where I'm missing something, where, where I'm, you know, because I, I love the feedback and we appreciate our brother who's an end times minister uh, that gives us feedback as well. We do appreciate it. But here it's plainly taught that Elijah still has to come back, folks, right? John the Baptist had the spirit. He came in the spirit and power of Elijah, all right? But he worked no miracle. Elijah worked miracles. He's going to be working miracles when he comes back before the great and dreadful day 
of the Lord. And so Elijah still has got to come back, guys. All right. So and that's going to be at the latter half of the greater uh, tribulation at the last of the three and a half years uh, that the enemies of God have uh, on the earth. And so folks that there you have it you know Elijah still has to come back if there's any question on that please look at these scriptures and see how God makes sense every single time God bless you God loves you God smiles when he sees you